and welcome back friends for reading time with CJ. How are you today? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you for joining me so that we can read more books together. And today we have a special book. It's from a really cool and intelligent kid author named Abby Cadet. And the book we're going to be reading today, it's called Kid Talk. Living in Two Homes is Tough by Abby Cadet and illustrated by Sidra Mahmood. Addison and Kathy were playing on the swings at the school playground. They were waiting for their parents to pick them up. Kathy was happy, swinging high and strong. Addison was just rocking the swing and kicking the sand on the ground. Who's going to pick you up today? Kathy asked her friend happily. My dad, Addison mumbled sadly. What? Kathy could not hear, so she stopped swinging. My dad, Addison repeated. Then why are you so sad? Kathy asked. My dad is picking me up too. I miss him and I cannot wait for him to come home. I have a lot of stories to tell him. Kathy was very excited. She only saw her father every other weekend since her parents got divorced. Addison's parents got divorced as well, but Addison was not excited. She pouted at Kathy. I don't want to see my daddy. He left my mommy and I. Addison was angry at her dad. She kicked the sand. Kathy pouted. She did not feel excited anymore because her friend was sad. She did not know how to help cheer her up. Josiah, their classmate, was walking towards the slide when he noticed Addison and Kathy. Hey, why do you both look so sad? He asked. Josiah wanted to help them feel better. Kathy started to explain. Our dads are picking us up, but Addison does not want to see her dad. My dad is picking me up too. Why don't you want to see your dad? Josiah asked Addison. Because he's just going to bring me to his new house. I'm so confused. Why did he have to leave? Mommy and I have a nice house. Why can't he come back home to live with us? Addison expressed. Josiah, imagine what it was like to have two houses. Don't be sad, he said. Isn't it fun to have new homes? Do you get to have two bedrooms and more toys? No, it's not. You go to one house with your mommy and another house with your daddy. It is very frustrating and tiring, Addison explained. Kathy nodded. Addison is right. It is tiring. And if you want to see your mommy when you're at your daddy's house, you can't. Josiah nodded as he tried to understand. And if you want to have them together in one house, you cannot. Addison added, wiping her tears. That's sad. Is there anything you can do? Josiah asked. The two girls shook their heads. I think you should tell your dad how you feel, Josiah suggested. Thanks, Josiah, Kathy said with a smile. Addison nodded in agreement. Addison's dad pulled up, so she picked up her backpack, walked slowly to the car, and waved goodbye to Kathy and Josiah. At bedtime, Addison asked, can I call mommy? You will see her, your mom tomorrow, daddy replied. Then he said, good night. Addison wanted to tell her dad how she was feeling, but she didn't know how. The next day during lunch at school, Kathy asked Addison, what did you do last night? Did you tell your dad how you felt? No. I played video games with my dad after I was done with my homework. He made me eat Brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, and chicken. I hate Brussels sprouts, Addison said. What do you do when you are with your dad, Addison asked. I have lots of fun with my dad when it's his weekend. He usually asks me what I want to do. We bake, go to the movies, and go to the beach. During the summer, we always go to the lake and ride a boat. Kathy said with excitement. 
That's so cool. When I am with my dad on the weekend, we usually stay home and it's so boring. Sometimes we go out to play basketball or go bowling, but I wanna go to the water park instead. I like to draw and paint. Before my daddy left my mommy and I, we went to Disney World together for spring break and it was so much fun, Addison said. Sometimes I feel so sad and I cry in my room because my daddy ignores me or makes me do work on the weekend. I wonder if he loves me. Even though he tells me he does, he never hugs me like mommy does. When my mommy and daddy were together, we always spent time together and I miss that. I wish I could tell my dad how I felt, but I don't want him to get mad, said Addison quietly. Maybe you could write him a letter, Kathy suggested. I could help you. Okay, that sounds like a great idea. I never did that before, said Addison. The next day before recess, the girls sat together and Addison wrote a letter to her dad. It was going to be a few days before she saw him again, so she kept the letter in her backpack. Dad picked Addison up on Friday, and when they arrived at his place, she took the letter out. Daddy, can you read this? Addison asked. Sure, what is it? Dad asked while opening it. Dad read the letter out loud. Dear Daddy, why did you have to leave Mommy and me? It makes me sad and we don't do anything together. How come? You always make me eat Brussels sprouts and I don't like them. Can't I eat broccoli instead? I don't want to go outside and stand in the heat all day playing basketball. Can we do things I like instead? Sometimes when you send me to my room to take over the TV, it feels like you don't want me to be around you. That hurts my feelings and I wish I were with mommy. I love you, Daddy, but I wish things could change. Love, Addison. After Dad was done reading the letter, he gave Addison a hug. I'm so sorry, baby girl. I didn't know you felt this way, said Dad. Addison gazed softly at Dad. She was so glad she was able to tell her dad how she felt. He didn't get mad at her. I love you so much, Addison, and I'll always be there to support and protect you. Things just didn't work out with me and your mom, but we both love you. You mean a lot to us. You can talk to me anytime. I love you, baby girl, Dad said. What would you like to do tonight, Dad asked. Can we paint tonight and bake cupcakes tomorrow? Asked Addison. Of course. Let's head out to the store to pick up all the things we need, said Dad. That evening, Dad and Addison drew and painted a picture of a big giraffe and they ate ice cream together. Addison was so happy. Wow, girls and boys, what a beautiful story of how it's really important to share your feelings with your mom and your dad, no matter which house you may be in. So I hope you enjoyed this book and thank you to Abby Cadet for writing this book for us so that we can share this to all the kids, the girls and boys at home. Thank you so much and until we see you next time, bye bye. Thank you.